Okay, now I started. Okay, so we should probably start by getting the sunflower and bringing it over to the potential location. Yeah, so we're going to plant the sunflower. It's been root bound for like a minute and I can't dig because I have a neck problem. So hubby's going to dig a hole for me. I'm going to dig a hole. Do you already have the shovel over there? Should I grab I it? I grabbed the shovel. It's over there already. Okay. I haven't had the spot. I haven't discussed it with you yet, but it's just a potential spot. We can move it where we need it. Mm -hmm. So my thoughts on that. Come on, Angel. Oh, Angel. Is, uh, like right yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because we need more privacy here, and it'll just go whoop, and it'll grow tall, and we can have lots of sunflowers. And I don't know what's going to happen to the philodendrons, but whatever. I'm okay with whatever happens to the whatever happens. But is there enough sun there? It's a sunflower. What if we planted it right here and then it grew up and it gave us privacy on that's the screen and it would go behind the thing? What if we planted it over here because this thing gets sun all flipping day long? Yeah, yeah. Right? Or up in here. That's not going to give us more privacy, but it'll look really Eventually freaking cool. It might, though, because it would grow up but it's going to shade the plants, though, that we're growing. It might shade those plants. But at least it would be like an oblong angle. And if you see the way the sun comes in now. But I want a whole row of sunflowers. So I want to plant it where I can plant more later next to it. So it's either along this side, anywhere along there, or anywhere along there. But right now I see this afternoon sun. But the morning, this gets the morning sun, yeah? I think so. So I think it's to tomato, tomato as far as sunlight. So whatever. I don't know. Okay. The question is, is it going to be more destructive to plant it near the philodendrons or to plant it behind those bushes? Because I feel like I have enough privacy when I'm down here. Mm -hmm. when because it's tall. There. But when I'm up there, it does feel less private. So I kind of am thinking we should just put the sunflowers along there. But That's if we do, call. but if we do, hold on, no, because I know I'm such a woman. Because like I said, if we would plant it all the way along and then it would block the sunlight because we're trying to have that as a sun deck. That's why I so, thought over there would actually be the best spot because then you get the oblong angle, but you make sure you have enough sun. And we could maybe move them that way. Heck, I'm willing to, if we get sunflowers to kind of like want, make like, take colony, right, there. right? If we get a colony takeover, I'll dig out these other bushes. We'll put have sunflowers Right, there but they're going to block our plants. So I think we need to do it here where you said. Okay, fine. I'll do it here when we said. <laughs> Thank you for going through that whole process with me to get back to Whitey. Hey, <laughs> so anyway, oh, that's interesting. You're digging it in the shape of the pot. I wish you had your special forces shovel. Hey, did you check the mail for that? Ooh, actually, I think it might be in the mail. It might be, but let's do this first. So like, oh well. Okay. I, I, it might be because she dropped a lot of packages. We had our mail held for like a month because of the. It's almost like one of those packages. Coronavirus. Hmm? It's like it could be one of those package shows that people do, you know, like all the, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so we got like that, so that way I at least know where the hole is roughly supposed to go. I don't know why I did it long ways. I should have done it like wide ways. Oh well. You said Sorry, how YouTube. bad? That was, <laughs> you need Sorry, the extra No, space. I'm saying like it's, I guess, I don't know. It's all good. So we're going to go hide for behind the philodendrons and see the view. Okay. The oh, wow. digger man. He's digging me a sunflower hole. We're going to have sunflower seeds and the birds can eat them. The chickens can eat the sunflower seeds. I'm going to show them while you dig what we did with this philodendron. So we cleaned all this out. It was like a complete snake pit. But do you see this one? It's like, whew. I think I showed somebody this on one of my live streams the other day. We did cut some of the bottom ones off. I know that's kind of cruel. But anyway, we propped it up on this deck mount thing. And we turned it into like a little open space that you can get in between. Because before it was just stuff all over the ground. But what's going to happen is these leaves are going to go like that. I know, it's so cool. I've already said that it's so cool. See, this one's starting to turn and it's going to go. So you just keep posted. See how that makes a little canopy? Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We'll see. Give it some time to adjust. And it does look really like it's leaning, but check this out. I'm so ADD, but look, he's still over there digging in the background. Dang, boy! The army. The army taught you well. Okay, so we can still see him through the... But it's really pretty on this side, so we didn't totally annihilate it, as you can tell. There's another little one here. So, we'll see what happens with it. 
the blooms closed up after we moved it around though. That's kind of sad. So I hope the blooms reopen because it could be freaking years. Weird little white things come out and then they, it's weird. Anyway, yeah. Oh my gosh, here we go. Trying to get this Be careful. Out. Trying to get it to be a pot. So what I do is I just like okay. put my hand, one hand here. Okay, one hand there. To and then, hold the plant. And, and then, then yep, flip her over. And, yeah, okay, there, there we, we go. go. That's how I do. I've been transplanting a lot lately. You have been transplanting. Ooh, so. okay, good. That's, mm, you might want to build it up a little. Put some dirt back under there. Okay, well... Put a little bit underneath there, and then I'm gonna keep the soil it was in mostly. There, there. you go. That's good. Now we gotta build mm. up a little. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. How about we build it up with the good stuff? I don't know. What do you think? No, you no to? potting soil because it's in the ground. It'll be fine. Well, it's actually got a nice brawl of ball of nutrients around it still because the yeah. soil we put in there is actually around it. So let's see cool. if we can get it to just acclimatize this, and then we'll we'll, we'll put more nutrients on and around it when we need to. Yeah, I hope it does okay. Well, it's going to get watered regularly, so... So, where are we going to put the second one that's already growing? Um... <laughs> I don't know yet. Well... Maybe right there. That's what... Yeah. Probably. For sure. See, Thanks there for you your go. help. Patterns. Thank you. We need to pressure wash that fence, y'all. Yeah, we do. Yeah, We, we don't have a pressure, pressure washer. washer yeah, we got to get a pressure washer. So, if you want to donate money for us to get a pressure washer, you can go and support our hey. gardening videos on Patreon, Eden Cultures, which is the name of this channel or whatever technically you give us money to garden with we'll garden with it we will definitely garden with that patreon okay. and stuff that all right. is guaranteed all right yeah and don't forget like to like it and subscribe and hit the notification button because this yeah. hunky man's gonna be digging with more shovels and this angel here angel say pretty say pretty say pretty can you show it hey you know how to sit pretty come on sit angel Dude, hello. Can you sit? Can you sit? She's like, I'm not sitting in the dirt. It's, she really knows how to sit, I swear. It's just, she doesn't want to get dirty. Come on, let's go. Yikes, you can tell I got my quarantine shadow, huh? I've officially gained five pounds. Hey, chickies, say bye, YouTube. Like us and follow us for when we make our first eggs. Yay!